Hi everyone, happy Monday. It is a brand new week. You are starting a new letter with Miss Christina this week and I get to do another Magic Treehouse book with you guys today. Um, so let's get started. We are reading Magic Treehouse book number 21. It is called Civil War on Sunday. So I'm looking at the cover and I see a soldier with a drum. It looks like Jack and Annie have changed their clothes again. Um, I see some soldiers in the background with some muskets or some guns. So I'm very curious what this book will be about. Um, so let's get started. We'll read the prologue since I wasn't around for your last book with Miss Christina. So I'm curious what happened um, in the last book, book number 20. So prologue. One summer day in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, a mysterious treehouse appeared in the woods. Eight-year-old Jack and his seven-year-old sister Annie climbed into the treehouse. They found that it was filled with books. Jack and Annie soon discovered that the treehouse was magic. It could take them to the places in the books. All they had to do was point to a picture and wish to go there. Along the way, Jack and Annie discovered that the treehouse belongs to Morgan Le Fay. Morgan is a magical librarian of Camelot, the long ago kingdom of King Arthur. She travels through time and space gathering books. In Magic Treehouse books five through eight, Jack and Annie helped free Morgan from a spell. In books number nine through 12, they solved four ancient riddles and became master librarians. In Magic Treehouse books 13 through 16, Jack and Annie had to save four ancient stories from being lost forever. In Magic Treehouse books 17, to 17 through 20, Jack and Annie freed a mysterious little dog from a magic spell. <gasps> they saved Teddy? Nice. In Magic Treehouse books 21 through 24, Jack and Annie have a new challenge they must find four special kinds of writing for Morgan's library to help save Camelot. They are about to set off to find the first of these. Wow. Well, I'm really curious to know how they save Teddy, but this sounds like an even better challenge too. All right, here we go. Chapter one, a light in the woods. Jack looked out his window. It was a dreary Sunday afternoon. There were dark clouds in the sky thunder rumbled in the distance. Jack stared down the street at the Frog Creek Woods. When is the magic treehouse coming back, he wondered. Hey, guess what, Annie said. She charged into Jack's room. I saw a light flash in the woods. It was just lightning, said Jack. No, it was magic, a swirl of light, said Annie. I think the treehouse just came back. I'm sure it was just lightning, Jack said. Didn't you hear the thunder? Yeah, said Annie, but let's go check anyway. She started out of Jack's room, then she peeked back in. Bring your backpack, just in case, she said. Jack was always glad for a chance to look for the magic treehouse. He grabbed his backpack and followed Annie down the stairs. Where are you two going, their mom called. Out to play, said Annie. Don't go far, said their mom, and come in if it starts to rain. We will, said Jack, don't worry. They slipped out the front door, then they ran up the street and into the Frog Creek woods. The woods were dark, under the storm clouds. A cool wind shook the leaves. Jack, soon Jack and Annie came to the tallest oak tree. Oh man, said Jack, you are right. The magic tree house stood out against the gray sky. Morgan, called Annie. There was no sign of the enchantress. Let's go up, said Jack. He grabbed the rope ladder and started up. Annie followed. They climbed into the tree house. It was hard to see in the dim light. Look, said Annie. She pointed to a piece of paper and a book lying on the floor. Jack picked up the paper. Annie picked up the book. Listen, said Jack. He held the paper close to the window and read aloud. Dear Jack and Annie, Camelot is in trouble. To save the kingdom, please find these four special kinds of writing for my library. Something to follow, something to send, something to learn, something to lend. Thank you, Morgan. So there's their new challenge. Can you see? Camelot is in trouble, said Jack. What's that mean? I don't know, said Annie. But we better hurry and find these writings. Let's go look for the first. Let's go look for the first something to follow. 
I wonder where we should look for it, said Jack. What's the title of the book you're holding? Annie held the book close to the window to read the title. Yikes, she said softly. She showed the book to Jack. On the cover was a painting of a peaceful looking field and a blue sky. The title said, The Civil War. The Civil War, said Jack, cool. Annie frowned. Cool, she said, war's not cool. It sort of is, Jack said uncomfortably. He knew war was bad, but some parts of it seemed fun, like a game. I guess we'll find out, said Annie. She pointed at the cover. I wish we could go there. Thunder boomed through the woods. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still, absolutely still. Chapter two, cruel war. war. Cruel means unkind, mean. Glaring sunlight filled the treehouse. It's really hot here, said Jack, especially in these clothes, said Annie. Their clothes had magically been changed. Annie wore a long dress. Jack wore scratchy pants and a long sleeve shirt. His backpack was now a leather knapsack. Where are we, asked Annie. They looked out the window together. The tree house had landed in a tree at the edge of a field. The same field on the cover of the book. It looks so peaceful, said Jack. Where's the Civil War? There, whispered Annie with a shiver. She pointed to the woods beyond the field. Jack saw a soldier riding a horse out of the woods. The horse was covered with mud. The soldier's blue uniform was torn. His arm was bloody. Another man rode into the field. His blue uniform was in rags too. His head was bandaged. Oh man, whispered Jack, who are they? He opened the Civil War book and found a painting of some soldiers in blue. He read to Annie. 1861 to 1865. The Civil War is also call, called the war, be, war between the states because it was fought between the Southern and Northern states of the United States. Southerners wore gray uniforms and were called Confederate soldiers. Northerners wore blue uniforms and were called Union soldiers. So they're Union soldiers, said Jack. He pulled out his notebook and wrote Civil War, 1861 to 1865. So that's like a, a long time ago. Blue equals North equals Union. Gray equals South equals Confederate. Jack looked at his book again. He read aloud, the Civil War was a cruel and bloody war. Many people died in this war. More people died in this war than in any of America's other wars put together. One out of every front young man, one out of every five young men in the nation died or was wounded. So that's really sad. That's so sad, said Annie. Jack wrote in his notebook, cruel war. Wow, they keep coming, Annie said. Jack looked up. More Union soldiers were coming through the field. These didn't have horses. They all looked sad and weary. Weary means tired. Some of them limped. Some of them helped others along. One man stumbled and fell down. I have to help, said Annie. Wait, said Jack. That's Annie, super kind, always wanting to help when she sees someone in trouble. She started down the rope ladder. You can't help, said Jack. A kid can't help. But Annie kept going. Don't forget, we have to find something special. Find special writing for Morgan, Jack called in a loud whisper. Something to follow. He packed the Civil War book and note notebook in his knapsack. Then he started down the ladder. When he stepped onto the ground, Jack saw Annie in the distance. She was holding her hand out to the fallen soldier. She helped him to his feet. The soldier slowly started walking again. Annie walked beside him. Oh, brother, said Jack, and he hurried to catch up with Annie. And there's Annie helping, being the kind, kind person she is. The sun was scorching hot as Jack ran through the dry field. He was sweaty in his scratchy clothes. He caught up with Annie. Together, they walked silently with the soldiers. At the end of the field was a steep hill. Everyone stopped and gazed at the site below them. Rows and rows of white tents. Thank goodness, said the soldier beside Jack. We're saved. So I see all those tents. It looks like a big campground. I wonder if that's where they stay. And we'll find out tomorrow. Chapter 3 is called Field Hospital. 
We will read chapter three and four tomorrow and find out more about these soldiers. Um, what it, we'll find out what a field hospital is and we'll learn a little bit more about the Civil War, um, which is a really sad thing that we have war, but it's important to learn about it and to know um, why we had the war and what happened. All right, my friends, please go outside and enjoy this lovely, lovely day. Enjoy your Monday. Um, have fun with your families, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some more Magic Tree House. Bye, guys.